production. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Mix it up, mix it up, sippy cup. Put some lean in the sippy cup. Because you spill it on yourself after you get high. Drink too much and you might die. That's right, this is a weird flow. Look at me, like my aunt go. Down the stairs every time she falls. She falls, she's sold because she's old. <laughs> I'll teach you for being old on the stairs. Uh-huh. Hi, Ken. <laughs> no bars this morning. What's up, Negative Nation? Welcome to Neg's Live. It is 10.03 a.m. Eastern Standard Time here in the beautiful state of Indiana. <laughs> it's Indiana, baby. It's a Neg's bar. Uh, excuse me. What's going on, guys? Uh, fresh off the pot. <laughs> uh, my head full of snot. That's right. Thank you for the bits. Oh get to the chopper. Hurry, get to the chopper. Oh, yeah. All oh, hail death. Which cheer? X200. Thank you, death. I appreciate you, darling. All oh, hail death, please. It's good to see y'all today. Um, it's Monday. And we're going to take a look at some 1981 commercials this morning. So... Yes, yes, yes. Uh, by the way, for those of you who are patrons, there is a brand new video up just for you. Just for you. So go check that out right now. Or save it for later. Whatever the hell you want to do. I don't care. It's your life. I'm not trying to live it for you. Give me a break. I only smoke live because... Uh, because I'm a bad influence. I'm the Marlboro man. Oh, I feel so special. <laughs> I got to clean this thing out while we're sitting here and we're waiting for people to come in. I'm going to greet the chat here in just a second. Oh, boy, this thing is dirty. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god, it's so dirty. Ew. That's what she said. I pull the skin back. Ugh, oh, gross. <laughs> oh my god. That's so much uh, resin in there. It's clogging my it's ex it's ruining my whole experience. It's ruining my whole smoking experience, so we're just gonna. You know what? I got another bowl. Fuck this shit.
God damn it, my microphone came out. I'm a hot mess this morning. What's up, guys? Welcome to the broadcast. It's so super good to see you. Oh, my God. So good to see you. Uh, welcome to the broadcast. We're going to look at some 1981 commercials. Jesus Christ, I'm a hot mess this morning. I'm hot. I'm hot garbage. I'm all over the place. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. It's good to have death back. Always take breaks when you need to, people. It's, it's, it's just the internet. You know what I'm saying? It's just the internet. That's all it is, baby. That's all it is. Yeah, I say that as I spend every waking mimic. So, mi mimic. Minute. Well, it's coming out. I love that spin every mimic on the internet. Fucking Popeye ass. So, uh, be sure you share the broadcast. I'm too controversial. For uh, liberal media. <laughs> so I come over here on Twitch and I do a toned down version of uh, uh, West Side Story. So we need to establish that this is grade A Indiana tobacco. Tobacco is legal. I am 45. I can smoke tobacco. No, Shan, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't want to fuck with you right now. <laughs> so you know what, though, Shane? I got a funny story for you. <clears throat> it's real brief. My grandmother, she was, she's been saying it right all these years. She was. She was saying it right. And see, here, here's the deal. Um, is, is in my kitchen, I don't ever have to say it. I just grab it because I can read. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Of course. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. How do you fucking Swedish chef? Worcestershire. <laughs> It's like it literally says, it literally says, if you say it, pronounce it, we're Chestershire. But now, yeah, no, it's Wolterthor. <laughs> That's like looking at the word, oh, I don't know, xylophone and going apple. That says apple. No, it doesn't say xylophone. No, it says apple. You're just retarded. You know, slow. You're impeded. That's all it is. That's it. You're just stupid. You're illiterate, inbred hillbilly, redneck hick. That's it. That's all it is. I said, right, Gunner. Got a little bit of a soggy biscuit in me drawers with a little bit of that little clear gravy we love so much. Do you fancy some? Worcestershire, Worcestershire. <laughs> oh, let me guess. Oh, oh, oh what, let me guess. Uh, is that Leicestershire? Is that what that is? Leicestershire? Why did God, did Gandalf call the Shire the Shear? Was he like, hey, I'm going to the Shear. You mean the Shire? You poor, ignorant, illiterate, redneck hillbilly. I feel so bad for you. Are you Cockney? Or whatever it is. Because you guys really hate each other over there. Lister, Listerine. Listerine Shire. I'm going to go to the Listerine Shire. That's where I'm heading. <laughs> no, Petty. That says uh, lasagna. It's not Listerine Shire. It's lasagna. That's what it is. We're just too... I have an eye jotting off to the left. I can't see it right. Molester Shire? Ugh. Who wants to go to Molester Shire? Oh, Leicestershire? How? How is it Leicestershire? Why don't you just spell it like that then? Why do you gotta be like, put an I, 
put a C in it, maybe a couple more E's, fuck, hey, you know one of those little, uh, you know, uh, when you do the square thing, yeah, Lister square, there we go, that says, that says epidectomy, that's what it says, it is, oh, uh, what's short for, for Lister, Melester, Lester, sure. I knew a guy named Lester down the road, and we didn't spell his name L E I C E S T. <laughs> That's not how we. Where's the other R? There's no other R. There's the. <laughs> can I say glucose test? Yeah, I can say glucose test. Thank you very much. I got that one down. Mm-hmm. Why are you guys letting people with head injuries name your places? We already let a person with a head injury in charge of the country. You know, we... we, we hey, we're the biggest goofballs on the planet right now. But why are you letting... Like, people name your shit with he that have head injuries. It's like they caught a musket ball in the neck and decided to name the town. <laughs> Gloucester Shark! What did he say? I think he said Gloucester Shark. Oh, uh, yeah. How do you spell that? Uh, Z-0-4-7-6 square pi. 42. Okay, got it. Got it. Put it on all street signs and maps. Don't say Shire. They won't know. You got to ask them where the sure is. And they'll be like, excuse me, governor. Do you mean share? No, what? Share, sure. Uh, can you just shoot me into the... Can you just, like, shoot me from a plane into the English Channel? I mean, I just want to be killed on impact. I don't care. Pick a mountain. Pick one. Take me to that place where them, them people ate them uh, other people's butt cheeks to stay alive. And drop me off there. Yeah, see, right there, you know what that says? You know what that says? Open. That's what that says. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That word that she just put in there, that spells open. When you go to a store and you see, you're like, oh, thank God they are. Whew. I was, I was afraid I wasn't able to get my barbiter sauce. Fucking guy in there's got a head injury. Open head wound. His brain's pulsating through the crack. <laughs> like, excuse me, sir. Can you tell, tell me where the Mogfogum is? I don't know where the Mogfogum is. Can you tell me how you spell it? Yeah, A-S-S-H-O-L-E. Mogfogum. Do you have that? Yeah? No, sir, we don't have any Mokfagam, but we are about to rob us Oh, you're about to rob us Oh, you're, okay, cool. I'm gonna leave before you rob us All right, I'll, I'll come back tomorrow when you're Lichtenstein. What? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm new here. I don't know that, I don't understand the, 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 the local slang yet. I'm still working on it. I'll be back. Next goes to England. Excuse me, sir. We don't poop on anything around here. And if your poop's gray, you should probably go to the doctor. You really should. Your poop shouldn't be gray at all. And if it has seeds in it, oh, fuck. It's nice knowing you. All right. <laughs> if you have gray, seedy poop. All right. Jesus Christ. You know, Worcestershire shit. God damn it. It's a sauce. But it's watery. But it's still a sauce. You call it, your gravy is watery. You call it gravy. Why don't you just call it a sauce then? But it's a gravy. But it's not a gravy. It looks like your goddamn sauce. But it's a gravy. And this is a biscuit. We're going to fight. I don't care. You stop calling things that. And drive on the right side of the road. What do you do?
Uh, Nixon? Yeah. I'm not a crook. Uh, you guys, I swear to God. I don't have any zingers for you from the United States. I don't, man. Like, everything is pronounced the way it is kind of pronounced the way it, 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 it's spelled around here, really. Or at least where I'm from, because we're all, you God bless us. There are some generations that accidentally, you know, <laughs> didn't stray off from the family tree. They said, this branch looks good. I'll just go out here to this branch. That's your first cousin. Don't matter. Merc! Alright, so we got some commercials. As much as I'd like to sit here and uh, berate your senses with my uh, <laughs> very eccentric sense of humor, I'd very much like to berate your senses with these commercials from the 80s. We started in 1977 a week ago. We're already on 1981 because, well, one, I... I have a very, very rich life, okay? I'm not going to say I don't have a life. I happen to enjoy watching 1981 commercials. <clears throat> do you enjoy watching 1981 commercials? Boy, I sure do. Forced new Kraft Buttermilk Creamy Dressing starts with fresh buttermilk, but it's unlike any other for three big reasons. One, a heaping teaspoon of fresh sour cream to make it creamy. Two, more sour cream. And three, still more sour cream stirred. Why are you lying to me? Every time you tell me what the secret is, you've lied to me. You've lied to me twice, so now by the third one, I don't trust you. How much sour cream is in this? Huh? ...into fresh buttermilk, because Kraft had to see how far creamy could go. New Kraft buttermilk creamy dressings, also with chives or green pepper. Thank God! There's something else besides sour cream in it. Hey, would you like some, uh... <laughs> Would you like some lettuce with your sour cream, man? For a new twist on taste, turn to Kraft. Twist on taste. See, okay, now the commercials, you guys notice the commercials are starting to become a little bit more or less depressing. <laughs> In the 70s, they were like, do you want to kill yourself? Well, then you should buy these candy apples. Scott is trying a new gel, Colgate Winter Fresh Gel. Hey, what a super looking gel! Yeah, he's got two teeth. Shouldn't take him long to brush. Ah, why? No, don't do that. Put it in your mouth, bite your teeth. Let me try. What a cool taste. Let me try. Let Ma'am, <laughs> this wee ginger cat won't let me brush my teeth. Um. Introducing new Colgate Winter Fresh Gel, a creamy blue gel packed with proven MFP fluoride, the maximum fluoride protection a toothpaste can give. <laughs> By the way, fluoride is an industrial uh, waste byproduct, so congratulations. God, it's good for both of you. How all of us, it's no wonder we're like, why, why is cancer so bad? Why is cancer so bad? I don't understand. We let corporations just, like, DuPont and all these places. Why is cancer so bad? Want some? Regular flavor Coolgate, new winter no fresh gel. Why. Maximum fluoride protection in a great tasting gel. Nobody cares. Energizer. Can we spend the radio all night? All night. Good thing I bought the Energizer. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, <laughs> no, I'm off to my room. Don't disturb mommy. <laughs> of all leading brands, nothing outlasts the Energizer from EverReady. Right. Nothing outsnaps it. Nothing out adds, out walks, out plays, out tapes, out shines, out lasts it. Is it Scotty? Nothing. The Energizer even outlasted Susie. <laughs> the Energizer even... <laughs> Outlasted Harold. <laughs> Sorry. Freaking Harold! Long life. Energize me. Shut up. Oh, Paul, I like this haircut. Is oh, Bob. Sorry, I was like, wow, that's a that's an eccentric haircut for a boy. But you know, it is the '80s. We <laughs> really shows off my ring around the collar. You've got ring around the collar. Oh, fuck. I thought I had AIDS. <laughs> Those dirty rings. Sprays and powders weren't good. That's penis neck. What are you talking about? Good enough. So I tried Whisk. Uh, Whisk does a better job on Leah ring around Thompson. the collar. And Wh Leah Thompson, what's she playing, bruh? Lay one on me. As I, I, I know who you're talking about. I just can't. 
for the life of me, I just can't uh, think of a fucking... Yeah, Back to the Future, thank you. This goes on to get your whole wash clean. Hi, Paul. Hi, hey, does everyone like your new look? Yep, it's called No More Ring Around the Collar. Oh. <laughs> it's called Insulin. <laughs> Whisk gets Ring Around the Collar and your whole wash clean. Danny's big movie debut turns into a fiery backlot inferno. Attack and go! On Code Red. That crack will get him every time. Then, a prison break. And three desperate fugitives. Spell a nationwide manhunt for today's FBI. Tomorrow. All right, cool. That's At the top. Everything's coming up cow next. Well, I mean, that's why they make anal bleach, is for your dirty rings. Ah, ah. At J.C. Penny, stand up and be counted, cause this top is running hot. Man, we had a J.C. Penny here and they shut down. Uh, I know that Shaquille O'Neal bought them. In colors that go from innocent to outstanding, this sweater is a top priority, and it's just thirteen dollars. You'll be sitting pretty. Thirteen dollars, right up to huh? your ears. At the top. Only at J.C. Penny. Yeah, okay, cool. At the top, huh? America's Hi, typical food basket is changing, and Mazzola corn oil can be part of it. Today's diet has more lean meats, salads, and more fresh vegetables. That's where Mazzola corn oil comes in. It's 100% pure corn oil. Wow, this dude's really embracing that comb over, like, hardcore, dude. He's got that, what's that shit? That one stuff, is it Aquanet? <laughs> Slow and saturated fats with no yeah, cholesterol. Ours closed, man. And no leading oil tastes lighter. Remember, this tells you it isn't sunflower or soybean oil, but... I, dude, who, who knows what is what anymore? Because everybody's allowed to lie. You can't trust shit. You can't... You almost have to, like, become a, a, a uh, amateur scientist anymore to fact-check your own food and medicine. The only leading brand made from the goodness of corn. Mazzola corn oil. Make it part of your food basket. Fantastic. Now, can we make cars that run on it or something? Tonight, an old dog tries a new trick. I can't get undressed while a dog's watching. Making a living. He's a why, why? Do you get a little drip drip there? 105. How well can he see? Then. Yeah, you might just have a case of radio mouth. And Isaac's getting perfect reception on the love boat. What? What? It was love at first sight. I had to have these silky pajamas, but I was afraid washing would ruin them. Then the sales lady told me when the label says gentle cycle, trust Woolite. Just a little Woolite in the gentle cycle pampers fine washables like my silky pajamas and satin robes. Turkey's done. Everything stays soft, fresh. Oh, and I feel beautiful. You feel beautiful? I feel pretty. I feel pretty. Do you feel pretty? I feel pretty. When the label says gentle cycle, trust Woolite. Of all the breakfast cereals on the market today, over a hundred of them all together, only a very few are high nutrition cereals. New Buckwheats is one. <laughs> Stop it. Are you kidding me? Buckwheats, huh? Uh, one of them. And among the high nutrition cereals, only Buckwheats has a great new uh, touch of honey taste. Mm -mm. Uh. Nice touch. So, for high nutrition and great taste, new Buckwheats, the only high nutrition cereal with a touch of honey taste. Uh. Hawk. Free spirited. Riding on the wind. Hawk. Soaring to heights no other can reach. Now, oh my, we had a mass exodus. What did I do? We've captured that. What I do? Flying. Did I assume somebody's gender? Is that what happened? Feeling in a new man's fragrance. Hawk. Challenging. Exhilarating. Now for the man who reaches higher. Hawk. By men. Sunday. Fireworks. After school fun for Danny and his friends gets out of hand. On Code Red. Then an Mike Hawk fragrance. <laughs> that was eight million dollar. Are you serious? Sorry, I was distracted. For the man who reaches higher. Oh, yeah. Get go get Mike Hawk. 
out of hand on Code Red. Then an $8 million heist, gangland execution. Stop and guns. Move! And today's FBI. Tomorrow. You do everything halfway. Mother! You're using only half a toothpaste. Damn, bitch. Calm down with your witchy powers. Tommy needs fluoride paste to fight cavities. Half a toothpaste. Right, I want gel for fresh breath. Half a toothpaste, too. Get both halves with Aquafresh. All the cavity-fighting fluoride of the leading paste and all the breath freshener of the leading gel concentrated in one toothpaste. Fluoride. And breath freshener. Double protection Aquafresh fights cavities and freshens breath. Hello, how are you? I am fine. Who is he? He is Parquet. Pare. Excuse me, but I think you are Parquet. Pare. Oh my god, I remember parquet? this. I think so. Pare. Taste. Smooth. Creamy. He's butter. Parquet. Ah, it's okay. He's nice. Sarai. Sarai. Parquet margarine from Kraft. The flavor says. Pare. Sunday. For 12 years, he searched for the brother and sister he lost. You snuck in like some low-life thief and you took them. They're like ghosts, Donald. No, I need them back, Rose. Academy Award winner Timothy Hutton. Why'd she kidnap his home. family? A long way home. Why'd she kidnap his family? 6612. <laughs> you got a cold, you should know these numbers. 6612, Mr. Brady? Look, these help six symptoms. This one's six. But Tristan relieves 12? Come on. It's true. Bear or Tylenol help these six symptoms. Contact these six. But Dristan relieves all 12 of these cold symptoms. I'll try the Dristan. You were right about Dristan. I feel much better. Look better, too. Tablets or capsules, Dristan relieves 12 cold symptoms. What'd he do, take some before she came in? Lunchtime. Just because you're losing. Oh, I'm starved. Besides, I made lunch. Your tuna salad tastes better than mine. Maybe you don't. Are they taking notes from each other's husbands? We'll use my mayonnaise, Hellman's. Why <laughs> does one tuna salad taste better? It could be the mayonnaise, because Hellman's helps make your salad its best. Fresh, wholesome ingredients go into Hellman's, and no other mayonnaise tastes fresher or creamier. <laughs> Hellman's can make a difference. Hellman's real mayonnaise helps make whatever you make the best. Most important shower of my life, and you switch deodorant soaps. New Shield's better. It's extra strength. But I'm trying my first case today. Now this Shield's bites odor better, so you feel cleaner. So you're an attorney, and you're you're stressed out over a fucking bar of soap. Maybe I don't want you representing me anymore. Clinical tests prove Shield fights odor better than the leading deodorant soap. I do feel cleaner, and I'll win that case. And I Stop shouting at her, dude. Did you meet her on like a? Just for deaths, single site? That's the whole truth and nothing but. <laughs> Just New for Shield deaths? fights odor better, so you'll feel cleaner. I feel cleaner than ever before. Congratulations. Welcome to Bird's Eye Village. Hi, I'm Clarence Bird's Eye. Our town's full of great cooks. Mr. Bird's Eye. Meet the youngest. My first meal. But what vegetable? Give it a blue ribbon combination. Interesting. Corn, green beans, and pasta curls. You'll be proud when Dad tastes it. Why were they all about fooling people into making them think they made some shit? Is that like them trying to say that's how good it is? He's like, ah, my nine-year-old daughter made this. It's so goddamn good. This couldn't be store-bought. She made this shit. It's so good. She had to have made it. Penny, you've been practicing. <laughs> Thanks for helping me to see my dad, old man. Zai, blue ribbon combination. Bye. But taste you'll be proud of. Come to Birdseye. Tonight, Sonny steals his brother's fiance. Why was I cursed with animal magnetism? Making a living. Then, a game of reverse psychology kicks into forward. To celibacy. <laughs> to ecstasy. On the love boat. To celibacy. To celibacy. <laughs> Tonight on ABC. I expect my kids to steal my safeguard, but my own sister was a... Me? I brought my own soap. You mean you don't know about Safeguard's unbeatable deodorant soap protection? Or Safeguard's rich lather? What? This is me. 
coming to their house uh, for the first time and 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 figuring out that it's and and and, and witnessing that they that they talk like this. That's me leaving. Or the fresh scent? No, but I'm gonna find out. What about your soap? Most soaps don't lather up this rich, even when they're big. My own sister. My safeguard isn't safe with anyone. Well, the combination of lather and protection, fresh smelling safeguards the smallest soap in the house. First Pampers invented quilting to help keep babies dry. Now Pampers invents new cushion quilting. It keeps a little baby a lot drier than any Pampers ever did. New cushion quilting. It makes the lining fluffy. Helps keep your baby away from wetness even when he presses down. It's the dry... Just assume my baby's ginger. ...as Pampers ever. Introducing new cushion quilted Pampers. Keeps a little baby a lot Ooh. drier nah, and a lot happier. Good. That's wonderful. Amazing. Five years ago, my only exercise was running... The kid jerked that hose right up into her uh, cornhole. ...around after Davy. Now... Davy's running to keep up with me. Boy, has my life changed for the better. <laughs> Thanks to AIDS. Five years ago, I read the letters to the editor. Now I write them. Ha! <laughs> wow! Moving on up, moving on up. That's some change. And five years ago, I used a box of this, a bottle of that, or a sheet of something else to get mm. laundry clean and soft. Today, yeah. I use Bold Free Detergent Plus Fabric Softener. Uh, it cleans, softens, and controls static fling mm. all in one box. Mm -hmm. That's a change for the wow. better. Look, Bold is a powerful detergent. Can you tell which socks ran through the mud? I mean, that's clean. Uh, can you tell which sock my kid <laughs> used as a... <clears throat> but why stop at clean? Bold 3 has got a full-strength fabric softener, so my towels come out downright snugly. They should put some, like, music in the background, somebody beatboxing or something. You see? No annoying static cling. Fact is, five years ago, I never would have believed one box of detergent could clean, soften, and control static. That's quite a change. <laughs> five years ago, she had a sex drive. Now she does this shit instead. A change for the better. Bold 3. <sighs> Sunday, Danny races against time to save a woman's life. Uh -huh. Lady, wake up! On Code Red. Then a psychotic skyjacker. A bomb. And a plane load of passengers. Show them all. Today's FBI. Tomorrow. I hate this planet. As dawn's really, early I light really covers the sleeping do. Temkins, a pasty film covers their mouths. Morning. <laughs> they wake with the worst breath of the day. Morning. Morning. Scope anyone? We'll use ours. Mom, that leaves your breath medicine-y. Scope's minty. Ours kills That's germs. Kind of Scope me. kills germs. No kidding. Try. Minty fresh. And kills, kills germs. germs. <laughs> Morning. Fight bad breath with scope. Now in lightweight, shatterproof plastic. If only you could hear what people think. Well, looks like a very promising lunch. Should I tempt him with my apple? Nice girl. Too bad she's scratching her head. Could be dandruff. That little itch could be showing people you have dandruff. But Head & Shoulders handles that little itch, so all that shows is hair that's soft and shiny clean. Apple? Very good. How do you spell that? M57L04122Pi. Chocolate chip. Try Head & Shoulders shampoo and show off your hair, not the itch of dandruff, wax, in regular dude. and conditioning formulas. It's like we were just trying to figure out how to interact with one another. How do birds fly? Where do zebras get their stripes? How can one sleepy fella ask so many questions? Come on, now it's our time. I made some General Foods International coffee. Mmm, a touch of orange. It's orange cappuccino. I'm having Swiss mocha. I love that chocolate taste. By the way, where do zebras get their stripes? <laughs> Please, no more questions. <laughs> do you make the same face after washing your hair? With General Foods International coffees. Hey, Ma, your college boy's home. I bet you're hungry. Hungry for your beef and gravy. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> 
Hey, Bob, your college boy is home. Well, I bet you're hungry. Yeah, hungry for your beef and gravy. Mmm, what about Scruffy? <laughs> he gets his own beef gravy meal. Gravy train. Add warm water to... <laughs> Wait till you leave. He gets his own beef gravy meal. The leading dry dog food, it gets wet. Gravy train makes a real beef gravy meal. A lot like my homemade. Add another beef gravy fan to the family. A Scruffy. <laughs> <laughs> Homemade appeal. Oh, holy fucking shit, guy. We interrupt our regular program schedule to bring you the following live special report from ABC News in Washington. Yeah, yeah, Here yeah, is yeah. Tom Gerald. Hi, Tom Gerald. I am Negs. Good evening. Eleven trucks loaded with police riot squads have surrounded and sealed off Solidarity Labor Union headquarters in Warsaw, Poland tonight. This according to the Associated Press. And outside communications, both from the Union headquarters and through the this international operator, have been cut. Tonight's action uh, by the police against Solidarity came following unconfirmed reports of heavy troop and police movements toward Warsaw and also toward Gdansk, the port city, where the Union's leadership was meeting today. There are reports that communications also have been cut at Gdansk. In that meeting at Gdansk, Solidarity called for a day of protest next Thursday to object to the use of force and the threatened use of force by Polish authorities against the Solidarity Union. The Polish government warned earlier today that it would not tolerate such a protest next Thursday, and it was shortly after that warning that police arrived to seal off the Solidarity headquarters. It's Dan Rather Not. Quarters <laughs> in Warsaw. The U.S. State Department here in Washington says it is following developments in Poland, but so far Bye, has Rowan. no comment. We'll have late details on the weekend report tonight and tomorrow morning on This Week with David Brinkley at 11.30 Eastern Time, Sunday morning. I'm Tom Gerald, ABC News in Washington. Good oh, evening. ain't you so sweet fun to my little old rocket program. Aren't you a Tex sweetheart? Tex Amalo cheered. X-500. Thank you very much, Tex. Oh, hell, Tex. It's sweet of you. Thank you. This special report has come to you from ABC News in Washington. We now resume our regular program schedule. It's it's not Dan Rather. <laughs> uh, get that number off there. It's annoying me now. I don't need to know how many people are watching. Just just take it completely off. Just take it completely off. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter. Thank you, darling. Yeah, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. It's just a sweetheart. God, it's just me yawning and trying to talk at the same time. Yeah, I'm uh, getting my kitchen in order today. Getting all my gadgets out and uh, cleaning the shelving units off in the basement and putting all my kitchen gadgets in the ki in the basement because we are about to... Uh... Look at the bags under my eyes. Holy shit. Stress is a killer, guys. Um... <laughs> no, if I turn the light up, it'll it'll wash them out. There, watch, watch. That's why people be doing this. They're like, Yeah, you can't see any of my features. Therefore, you can't see the bags under my eyes. Anyway... Um, I'm going to be putting all my stuff in the basement and uh, getting ready for them to redo the kitchen soon. No, it's probably going to be a month or two, but I got to prepare. Um, I need to make sure there's an area downstairs that is clean um, where I can store my stuff. I'm not going to be doing any food prep in the basement. It's not that. <laughs> no, like I don't mind storing stuff down there, bringing it up, giving it a quick rinse and then using it. Um, but I gotta make sure it's clean because I, you know, I'm gonna have like my table to prep food on. I mean, which is bigger than my my uh, cabinet space, but it's gonna be out of my element. So you got the pulps. Oh, bless your little poopy heart. Damn. Oh, but we are going to be starting a whole ass uh, cooking Twitch channel. It's gonna be nothing but cooking because uh, I'm I'm going live a lot on this channel. And instead of going live on this channel twice a day, I'm going to set up uh, a cooking schedule. Uh, it's going to be basic shit. It's not going to be any, you know, uh, five-star Michelin dickhead shit, you know. Is she real? Any of that, you know. The gravy will actually be gravy, though. You won't be transparent. Uh, <laughs> no, but I'm going to teach the basic uh, cooking stuff. 
because I'm sure, look, man, I'm just learning, and I figured there's this, this is an awesome way to learn, too, is just to, to go live and do it. And, and uh, But uh, Death sent me an example yesterday of this young lady who does a cooking show. It is very, uh, I really like the way she has it set up. Her production value is, uh, so uh, I don't know if I'm going to go that route. I'm going to try something else uh, just simply because in the meantime, um, I'm not going to have a lot of space to work with. So I'm not going to install. Once my kitchen's remodeled completely, I can put in permanent like uh, camera fixtures, which wouldn't be that hard, really, because you could basically get Bluetooth cameras. I could use the security cameras I have here link them up uh, via Bluetooth to uh, a streaming software and be able to switch between them. I would need somebody else to try to do that remotely, but um, we're not there. So in the meantime, it's going to be one camera. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a camera that I could take and be able to like, you know, oh, look at the sauce boiling, you know, or like look inside the oven. Hey, man, ain't nothing uh, really uh, happening I'm pretty much uh, done with the whole drama stuff. I can't do it anymore. So, I mean, like, it doesn't even matter if people, if, if, if tons of people watch. I'm going to cook. I might as well just make a thing of it a couple times a week. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be selling some of my digital properties. I'm going to be banking back some money. And then we're going to be out working on the road this summer and this spring. So, you know. My heart and soul can't handle any more toxicity. Can't do it, man. Fuck me. I can't do it anymore. It's just. This shit is just. It's just so taxing. Yeah, wholesome beginners cooking content. I'll probably burn shit, mess shit up, you know, a little bit of comedy. But I'm also going to be distancing myself from when I do the cooking. It's not going to be under my moniker, Negs. It's not going to be under my moniker, Negs. It's going to be under my, my actual name. People know my name, so it's not a big deal. But uh, I don't want to use I don't want to use that while I'm cooking. I want my real name attached to that because that's like uh, like when I even when I do my art, I sign it with my real name because that's me doing it. Yeah, I know I've been pretty wishy washy, Death. You know I've been pretty wishy washy, and I've been sitting here watching my viewer count waver, and I've lost a lot. I, I just looked, I've lost uh, I lost like six more supporters last month. I didn't do anything to anybody, you know? I'm like, what's going on? So, I'm like, you know what? This whole drama thing has way too many blind allegiances with people. It, it, it truly does. It just does. Too many blind allegiances. And I, I'll shoot straight with you. The drama world put a lot of money in my pocket, and then... But in the same sense, the people who supported me and back, put a battery in my back uh, pulled their support after they didn't need me anymore. So that, that tells you everything you need to know right there. What's up, Big T? But yeah, I'm done. Go to, my, go to my YouTube channel. Everything's private. It's all gone. It's all gone. It's not gone. It's just private. Now, I, I have no time frame on the cooking thing at all. I gotta. I actually want to sit down and plan my menu, what I'm going to make, and kind of uh, coordinate it with, you know, I'm not going to make anything to not eat it. Everything I make, we're going to eat, and we're going to consume in this house. So, Yeah, Petty, I did. I lost a lot of people who had, like, like, real quick, like, but here's the deal, and I'll say it, I'll say it with my whole chest. All that anti-hater shit, all those, all the anti-haters are out of my fucking, ex they're gone. And I couldn't be happier. I don't want to hear about it. I just, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. So dumb. 
So, but I mean, it, but it's just sad that it had to be about, it was always about that, that, that drama. It was always about that drama with me losing money and the legal stuff. I was being browbeaten over my opinion about somebody being fake. What the fuck? You know, like, fuck you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? Like, fuck you. Who are you to browbeat me when I, they, they've lost nothing. Let a motherfucker be mad. Stop overanalyzing your friends, man. Well, the level that these individuals have reached out and touched my real life, I never want to experience again. It was a nice five-year run. I was able to uh, build a little bit of a brand. I was able to hone my skills. Move on now, I guess, right? Am I really ready to forget about it? Well, it's not doing me any good even revisiting it. It's not. It's not emotionally, mentally, and uh, legit. I mean, and... and uh, St statistically you know it's it's not worth it it doesn't pay anything it's not gonna put food on my table it's not gonna teach me anything i'm not gonna grow from it am i discouraged that right now that the community that the community is shrinking uh a little bit it's more or less it's not about uh money it's about who and why right it's about who and why. So, but you know, fair is fair. I pulled all my support for all YouTubers months ago, weeks ago, weeks ago, actually, not months ago, weeks ago. I went, I went to my YouTube account and I, I pulled all my support for every YouTuber because one, I'm not gonna put any money in that company's pocket, and two, uh, what are, the, what are you, what are they doing? Same bullshit. But yeah, yeah, it's, 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 and, and I know this, this is a fucking skipping record, guys. This is, I'm a human on a flawed, you know, and I, and I'm very, I'm working on this emotional stuff because, man, a lot of this shit's attached to my kids and that just, that shit stings, man. I got a lot of pride when it comes to my family. So when people fuck with them intentionally trying to cause them harm, it, it grates on you and it grates on you. You have to learn to either fucking move on or let it eat you alive. I'm trying to learn to move on. And that's why people do it is because they want you to wake up every day feeling like you want something horrible to happen to them. They want to be able to go and you flip out, you know. Like, you know, one of the big reasons I go to Hussy Streams and I watch Hussy Streams is because Hussy Streams is a different topic. Hussy's interacting with us, reading the chat. They're talking about fucking... This celebrity, that celebrity, people I don't know or don't give a shit about, and Hussy makes it entertaining. That's why I'm there at almost every stream. If I'm not cooking or eating with my family, I'm at the stream. I can't watch that stuff, man. Like I've, I have, I have roasted everybody so much that it is just, it's just, it's just fucking redundant. It's, it's like old hack at this point. You know, all those videos I made, the voiceover videos, I did it. I did it all. Nobody needs to do anything else now because I did it all, sacrificed it all, and it didn't matter. Yeah, death, you know. And look, man, my kid's going through a lot of shit right now, and it breaks my fucking heart. You know, I, I feel comfortable sharing this stuff on Twitch because a lot of you respect me. And I don't really... And motherfuckers that don't, I don't give a fuck. Go fuck yourselves. You want to get off on a child's pain, you really need to go reevaluate yourself. My kid's going through some shit. And it's, it, is, it is hard. It is real hard. And I have to help him through that. Right? I have to put all my shit to the side. It don't matter how I feel about nothing right now. Nothing. I am, as far as, as, far as you guys, you guys are my sounding board, but as far as he goes... I am fine, baby. 
I am pristine. Golden, pony boy. I am golden. Because he was there for me. This 13-year-old child, when I was having a hard time, he only saw me... He saw me. He saw me a little upset a couple times over, uh, I, it, over his brother and over my the losses I've had. Welcome so to prime time, he's always been bitch. there and, and, and supported me. Get it? Death for Twitch conquered the final boss. Four hundred. Uh, thank you, Death. All hail Death. So he, he's been there for me, so I gotta be there for him. And I'm his father. I should always be there for him. He shouldn't have to be there for me, but he is because it's just he and I. And I don't think people really understand unless they're they're a single parent. Which Jeez, they're, they're money, probably money. Uh, there are probably a lot Dave of you who are. Trash gave Nick's cheeseburger money, honey. One hundred. You're a great dad, Nick's. Thanks, man. All hail Big T. Hey, put a one in the chat if you're a single parent. I'm just curious. Put a one in the chat if you're doing it all by yourself. Paying the bills, cooking the meals, raising the babies. You know what I'm saying? This bowl sucks. <sighs> Big T, death. Yeah, I knew you both were. Got Big T and Death. Who else up in this piece? Tex. Yep. So these people and myself know what it's like to protect your children ferociously. I'll never apologize for that, and neither should you. And there is no court in this in this country that will make me apologize for that. And you should never apologize for the sacrifices that you make. Evil always gets its day, man. But my point is, is that it ain't it ain't easy, man. It ain't easy. Ninety percent of the motherfuckers that I used to fuck with on YouTube had wives and sat in their dank little rooms and crybabied around all day on the internet and acted like they were better than every other guy that was doing everything for their family. Fuck those guys and fuck that shit. Who has time to sit here and be like, Oh, this troll, fuck yourself. Fuck yourself. Seriously, go fuck yourself. Nobody cares. Nobody cares anymore. Watching all these grown people on YouTube trump on these children's graves so they could get clout. It makes me sick. It makes me fucking sick. These babies are dead and these people... Grown men... Grown men talking about drama surrounding deceased babies. It's it's gross. I don't even want to hear about it. I don't want to see it. It's just fucked up, man. T you know what? At this point, we should be like, yeah, it's 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 no wonder these individuals have preyed on everybody else's children because they're fucking sick. What more do you need to know? Moving on. You know, fuck, man. We know how these problems get remedied when people live a block from each other. But this is the Internet. It ain't like that. This bowl, I don't like the handle on it. It's so small. That's what she said. So there you go. Hey, man, don't think I'm not serious about uh, in, in my 50s getting with a bunch of people and just buying like six acres and building something at the very back of it, you know, at the very back of the lot on the property line so if somebody else wants to buy the property they'll have to consider the fact that our our compound is uh actually we'll put it in the middle of the six acres so we can have uh we got to have 360 scope action uh tex i have become completely you know what's going on i have to go to court there's no reason for that i'm being harassed with the court and it's fucked up but I'm not going to continue to perpetuate these issues. I'm going to go and I'm going to prove my innocence. I'm going to beat these issues. And then I'm going to move on with my life. 
This is all by design to lock to keep me in. It's like I want I wanted people to go away. Now they want me to keep they want to keep me around. Like it doesn't make any sense. Work so hard to get rid of me off of YouTube and then do whatever you can to keep me in your life. It's so fucking weird. As I take a hard look around, I you know I mean I'm the only one who paid any price. I'm the one who uh, had the bigotry uh, leveled at him on Twitter constantly. So I, I don't know what to tell you there. <laughs> I mean that's a fact. We have the screenshots. You can't refute shit that happened. So it's gonna be real interesting. It's just I, the, the wheels move so goddamn slow, guys. It's so ridiculous. But I, I, this is, you know what, I'm going to drop that, but I'm going to tell y'all something. Stay the fuck away from YouTube drama. Seriously. Yes, it will be, Ann. It is like a scorned lover, and it's, it's, it's fucked up. Anyway, uh, stay the fuck away from YouTube drama. Stay the fuck away from the Boyt. Stay the fuck away from the drama community. Stay the fuck away from the, the true crime community. Just stay the fuck away from YouTube. Enjoy the fun videos. Just stay the fuck away from it, because here's the deal. If you watch it, it's in your head now. You're a participant of it now, because the shit that they do is real-life stuff. It's not It's not fictional. It's real life. I refuse to watch grown men get into drama over dead children while they don't respect other people's deceased children. Go fuck yourself. And also, I, I would like to ask ask this going forward, too. Uh, keep in mind what you share with your friends if you're in servers uh, together. Keep keep in mind what you share with them because you, if you share something that is toxic or some fuck shit, uh, you're, feeding, you're feeding that to the people that you like. Yeah. Because I'll, 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 I'll shoot from the hip with you guys. I, the last, uh, the, let's see, today's Monday. Last week, I was super fucking touchy in, in the Discord server. I was. I was. Uh, you guys saw some arguments transpire. That person left because, I mean, why support me now? It's not about fat girls anymore. So, uh, but you saw a lot of that stuff that went down. But. It's, it's like when you're talking and then somebody puts some fat girl shit right in the middle of the conversation that has nothing to do with it. It's, it's hard not to go in and crescent kick the shit out of that sentence. I, I, I'm almost – I'm half tempted. I was half tempted when I see stuff like that pop up in the middle of the conversation to delete it just to be like, hey, pick your moment. Not that I don't want you to post it, but pick your moment. <laughs> pick your moment. I'm like, ah, oh, lasagna. Uh, uh. That's that's hater nation. Uh, right in the middle of it. It was like, I don't care. Got your own personal server? <laughs> Read the fucking room, right? Uh, hey, look, I got a lot to work on, too, man. I'm not going to sit here and I'm not trying to shit on anybody's chest, but my, my chest is, is covered in poop. So as I'm washing it off, you're going to get a little bit on you. All right. Just a little bit. <laughs> Christina, But yeah, I uh, I'm, I'm a little touchy sometimes, man. And I have been this past week when it comes to just like I mean, like <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I know that I like the vent and stuff. That's why I created the vent section. Um, uh, that's the Discord, and but anyway, I created the vent section because <laughs> I just don't fucking care, man. And like I I I didn't remove myself. I got removed. Had I removed myself, I'd probably be in a better place right now. But honestly. Getting removed from YouTube was probably the best thing for my soul in the long run. Not yet. Still working that shit. <laughs> ah! 
but if man, if you eat shit, you're gonna you're gonna feel like shit. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm preaching, and I'm not trying to be. I am a hypocrite. I got a lot to work on. I can't help that shit. We're all hypocrites. Fucking a man. Look around you on the news and the politics. Everybody's a fucking hypocrite. Wear a mask. I'll be in Florida. <laughs> Trying to find something to run through this uh, bowl because it's so, 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 so goddamn clogged. And I'm, and man, I'm super discouraged that people don't want to, don't want to hang out now that I'm, I'm in. Because here's the deal, I, I didn't want to hear them talk about this fat chick drama, and they didn't want to hear me say that the people who bailed on me are fake. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, take it somewhere else, man. Nobody wants to hear this shit anymore. We're all over it, dude. A year. A fucking year ago. A year! <laughs> Come on! Oh, petty. Thank you. I got it downstairs. I'll just set that to the side. A year, bro. People have been trying to logic. Uh, it, you know, it was thank God that somebody came out and said, yeah, I'm a hypocrite, so what? You know what I'm saying? Thank God they came out and said that. Fuck it, what can you say to that? I'm a hypocrite, so what? Go fuck yourself. There you go. Well, we, isn't that what we've been trying to point out the whole time? They, they somebody, Once somebody admits it, what the fuck you got left to say? <laughs> so fucked, man. And you know what? Maybe, maybe I know. I'm sure somebody out there is citing my my BPD as a, you know, you're just running people off. You know what? I had I've sat in my server, literally sat in my server, having a completely innocent conversation with everybody else, and watch somebody come in and go, "I'm fucking dead," and try to pick a fight, and then go talk shit about me ten minutes later in somebody else's stream. What? Huh? Like, did I push them away? Really? Did I? <laughs> I'm sorry. What did I do? I'm sorry. So, yeah. Uh, to me, it's really been about trust because uh, I really kind of jeopardized some of my values in the in the in the youtube war like when when somebody started gallivanting at somebody else i should have known uh like i told everybody i was like i know who it is but i'm not gonna tell you i've told you since but you know um i made it no secret that i that i knew but i wasn't gonna tell i wasn't gonna sit there and pretend that i didn't know because i knew and me telling you that i didn't know who it was would make me lie would make me a liar, but that still to me was like a was was me uh, copper being compromised. It's obviously a superpower. Yeah, that's why it's real hard to open up to people about how you fucking feel or uh, your mental illness because they'll be like, "Oh, you're being manic." That's why I don't appreciate people telling me to go get fucking help. Fuck you. Don't tell me to go get help. You go get help. Mind your business. You know what I'm saying? Like, I appreciate the sentiment. <laughs> but, I mean, <laughs> I don't need to get fucking help. I need, I need society to mind its business is what I really need. I need people to quit trying to police the internet with their feelings and their local authorities. That's what I need. Wow, that is clogged, baby. Yeah, got to claim both of them. That's no joke. <sighs> yeah, man. 
like I'm too old to be trying to figure shit out anymore. You know, I'm, I mean, I know what I'm going to do. I just got to do it and see what happens. <laughs> I lucked out and made a bunch of money and, and it, was, it was really fucking hard on me. It was really hard on my mentals and that's my fault. Nobody's responsible for that but me. But uh, I'll tell you right now, people didn't help. How dare you treat me like you tr like I treat others? Oh yeah, it's not yeah, it's the crazy people that need help. But nah, nah, it's me, it's me, it's I, I it's it is I that needs the help because you know people attack your family and then uh, <laughs> you defend them and you need the help because you're not willing to bend the knee to the mighty wolf mob. Uh, yeah, we're crazy for a reason. That's right. I don't have BPD by design. It's shit's caused by trauma. Don't people understand that? You're not born with it. You, you develop it from trauma. Thank you, Death. Yeah, why is everybody so concerned about what my poop smells like? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Ann. That's why I've been really hyper-focused on just the house and the kids. You know, I mean, this shit's all fine and dandy and stuff, but I'm not sitting here for hours, like, reading receipts and tea. Like, this morning, I accidentally made a video, and that was a bonus for all everybody on Patreon. Go check it out. I'm just trying to live. I just want to get this fucking shit out of the way and live my life, man. I don't want to hear... I don't want to hear negative shit about me that people I don't fucking like say about me. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to be, I don't want to be, I just don't want to be, uh, toxic. <laughs> I just don't want the toxicity, really. It's just, can we do something? The, the things we have to ask ourselves, really, and this is, this is applicable to me, everybody, is, 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 is going into something. Is it worth it? Pick your battles, right? Can we do something about it? Am I consuming this because I can learn something from it? Or am I consuming this to perpetuate my own outrage? What am I doing here? Yeah, I accidentally made a video. Dude, it's 11 o'clock. I've been up since 7. I've already made a video, done a load of laundry, uh, taken the trash out. What else have I done? Changed clothes, took the kid to school. Dude, I've done like 10 different things already. And I'm probably going to go do 50 more. That's why I'm so fucking tired at 9 o'clock. I'm like, I'm going to bed. I'm over it. What's up, Gary? But again, you know, I'm not trying to come off as preachy to anybody. I'm not, because I'm not better than anyone. I'm not. And I'm a big hypocrite like 99% of the people on this planet. Give yourself a break. <laughs> I do. I do, but it's real hard for me to sit still. Because this thing, this thing starts doing that. that those intrusive uh, negative uh, patterns of thinking. Well, what's beyond me is why a group of people would want to do that to somebody because they disagree with them. What, what's beyond me is why two individuals, a couple no less, would want to do that to somebody based on their identity. That is the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life. I'm so afraid I'm going to make it worse. What? Oh, talk, you're sick for three weeks. Did you have the coof? Good old coof. <laughs> uh, right on, Christina. Yeah, I mean... My only problem is with covering the drivers. I people wanted to make me the story. I don't like that shit. Let me talk about you. 
I ain't done nothing, motherfucker. You're over there in VR chats and shit with minors. I ain't done nothing. All right, I'm over here being a little incendiary. Oh, <laughs> my feelings. That's the only thing I've ever done on this platform is hurt people's feelings. I ain't done anything else more than that. I hurt their feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I was forced to watch it. I was forced to go to that private Discord server and get that clip and file a paper. Clown show, baby. It's a trash fire and there's clowns juggling fucking burning garbage. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm a fucking idiot. <sighs> well, you know what? The, 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 the peculiar thing is that these people don't measure respect. They measure numbers. I don't give a fuck about numbers. I do, but I don't. Let me explain. I got a lot of trolls that be like, oh, 35 views after the video's been up for an hour. God bless them. But that's how they measure your worth. Not realizing that they don't even like you, and they're there to enjoy it. So, I mean, it's just so weird. Like, <laughs> what up, pancakes? Well, anyway, we're gonna figure it out moving forward. But the cookie channel will be nothing but cooking. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, I'm taking three months off of my uh, my IRL hustles. I'm just I'm buying inventory and stocking up. I mean, I have other sources of income, but as far as my labor intensive stuff, I'm just focusing on getting my house together. Because really, I can't have my business fully functioning until the basement. I have my I got my area for my kitchen stuff. I got my shelving units for my inventory, and I got my area for my packing and my shipping. Until I have that set up, I can't function. So, and it's got to be clean, and it's got to be nice. Hell no, Bacon. What are you talking about? People will be like, nope. I'm not subscribing to that. Oh, honey. Honey, honey, honey. <laughs> we go wrestle in that driveway. We're going to wrestle on your staircase. <laughs> you feel like I'm a mirror? I am. I am a mirror. I have to do it. I have to have my uh, camera uh, mirrored because of my ADD. It's, it's an ultra wide monitor. Over here is my output where I can see my camera because I'm going to be able to make sure the quality's good. Uh, but if I move to the right, I move to the right on my screen and vice versa, right? Vice versa, right? Choop, choop. If it's mirrored, I move to the right, I go that way. If I move this way, I go that way. And it tricks your, it makes your, it, it's it's actually, you go on Google and I read something about this, that it, it's distracting. Your brain is like, hey, hey, <laughs> what is that? It's a shirt. It says Grateful Dead. There you go. Yeah, just look at the pretty picture. Winner gets all the income. <laughs> let's pay per view it. Shit, let's split it 50 50 like a stage Jake Paul fight. Let's do it. Yeah, so hey, I'm, speaking of getting, I got to get busy. I got, I got laundry in. I want to go work on my basement. I got to get this. I got to get my life together here today. Uh, let's catch up maybe tonight. I don't know. Maybe just in the Discord. Who knows? It's Monday. There's nothing scheduled today. So, we shall, we shall add ice for extra danger. Guys, much love for me to you. Thank you for the love and support. Go check out my Patreon.com forward slash Mr. On the Border if you would like to support me monthly. All right, guys. Much love. Bye.